Mm, talking about, um, I, I mentioned competition earlier on. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of um, female entertainers. I know. Um, <laughs> some on radio, uh, some on TV. I mean, you have the likes of Tools, Tokyo mm -hmm. and the list goes on and on. Do you feel um, at every point in time you are being compared to them or them to you? Do you feel you are in a world of your own? You don't mm -hmm. need to be compared to any of those people. Um, or have you had any instances where news has come back to you mm. and they're like, why don't you do it like this person or do it like that person? Well, to be honest, news has not come back to me asking me to do it like them because mm. I assume that people already know Vixen is Vixen. And competition is good only when it's healthy. Mm. Because women tend to be very catty, if I can use that word. But when it's healthy, then it's camaraderie. It's, you know, mm. friendship. But in my case, I don't see anyone as competition. I see everyone you as colleagues. You think you're better than them? No, I don't. I knew you were going to ask that. I don't think I'm better than anyone, even if I was there before most of the names you called. Here we go. But <laughs> I <laughs> I'm uh. in a world of my own. And if, you know, chance, time, and fate happens to bring us, us together, together, it's all good by So I, I take it they're not some of the friends that you, you call around for drinks? Oh, or come on. You're trying to put words in my mouth. Yeah, this is how it feels before, when you're with people. I know. Before we go any further, let mm. me state that there are no real friends hmm. in the industry. What do you mean? So do not classify industry uh, associates as, as friends. Or people you take selfies with. People, yeah. yeah as I mean, friends. Nah, <laughs> not everyone. At least not everyone. Okay. You know, because, I mean, like you said, there's a facade. Everyone is pretending to be what they're not. Yeah. Pretending to be friends with the next hot thing or the current rave of the moment just to stay relevant. And in all of that, you lose who you are and you get carried away. Do, do you think, do you think there's, um, I mean, before the break, we had um, some guys from Future was the nominees. Mm -hmm. And there was this, um, you were there. At yes, the, I was. At the, uh, the reception. Um, the issue of values, mm -hmm. and when you marry values and then you marry the media, mm. um, you obviously your role model. Mm. And um, there's a lot of, how should I put it? There's um, people are anxious to know what direction a number of you ladies are going in. Um, we're in the age of social media. Mm. There's the age of perception. Not everything you see is what it is. And like you rightly said, Very you've true. been doing this six, seven years now. They are no so-called friends. Mm. How has it been for you moving from where you've been till now in terms of the value system, in terms of media, in terms of using your platform to instill the correct values to the next Nigerian? Because you find a lot of fake things happening oh in the industry. Lord. Tell me Be about it on Instagram, it. be it on Twitter comments. Yes. Uh, people posting pictures like 50 times a day. <laughs> yes, they have the followers. They have that huge followership. But you just begin to question the motive behind all Some they of do. the are yeah. fake as well. But <laughs> anyway, are fake. Can oh, we yeah. quote that? We'll get to that. Can we quote that? No, okay. no, 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 don't quote me, please. Uh, let me just say, it's not been easy at all. As a young lady trying to just make it through life mm. and trying to make something out of her career, it has not been easy because, you know, we all just want to make it and get to the next level. But mm. because... Some people don't care how they get to the next exactly. level. Exactly. Some people don't care. And you find that they do things they're not supposed to do just to get to the next level. I'm not going to say what, but I was Can raised right. Oh, no, I'm not going to oh, name please. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't hang around them, so how would I know? Okay. Anyway, uh, I was raised well. I was raised in a very strong background without a father, wow. if I might add. And my mother taught me to be strong, hardworking, courageous, respectful, God-fearing. Mm. And these values I took into you know my career and i think that's what has helped me god has helped me and that's yeah, all that's i can say right now, now to be honest let's, let's finalize on this one i left this to the very last minute uh, time my, my producer is saying we need to go oh, wow. um the issue of of the man hmm. the man let's let's touch on that quickly you're on the red carpet a lot of guys come politicians all that um what what is that one thing you want are you in a hurry to settle down or is it a career thing you just want to focus on if it comes fine if it doesn't too right bad. now, I'm not in a hurry to settle down because I've been in relationships that were toxic for me. And with who? I'm not going to oh, say. Come on. You should know me by now. I would not say. 
So I'm not in a hurry to get into another one. Mm. I would just, you know, go with the flow. Okay. I'm trying to make some money. So it's all about the money right now. So you're and still not single about right the man. Now. Yes, I am. Did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, I am. Well, Vixen is, is single. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you um, so much Look, for look forward me. to having more of you on the show as well. By God's Ladies goodness. and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on Robin Minds this week. Ebuka will be here next week. Don't forget to join the conversation. That's hashtag Robin Minds at TV. See you same time next week, 3 p.m. on Robin Minds. I am Ben Lippi Osman. So have a wonderful week ahead and a happy month ahead. God bless. Action.